Hello. 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 Oh. How's it going? Welcome to Olympic Park. <laughs> We're about to do our annual little Christmas race. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 5k. 5k here today yeah, yeah, yeah. Olympic Park. Although I was laps. down for 10k. That was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Two laps. It's just a little route recce and there's a couple of pitch black bits so that'll be good fun. I'm in the Alpha 3. First race test for me in those. Uh, you boys are in your favourite 5k shoes, right? What are you in? I'm in the Hocker Rock X2 which I haven't been able to race because I got up when I was bloody injured but I'm, not, I'm now glad I've been able to go out and running this so uh, yeah no looking forward to doing a 5k run in them and a little see how I get on Tom I'm wearing the Socking and Dolphin Elites which are almost torn apart now with my heel issues <laughs> Tom's about to break his Socking Elites might be the last, last time I'm I get to going for a PB them. we'll see how that goes <laughs> I'm not going for a PB he's going for a PB <laughs> uh, I've got the Sunto Race and the uh, Garmin 965 on and my Grinch socks other than that nothing too much going on there testing wise yeah. yours? No. I've got the Vantage V3 Polar Vantage V3 and the 96 Five and I also got some headphones I'm not allowed to talk about yet. So, oh, ooh, <laughs> very wow, nice. Exciting, very and exciting, then afterwards exciting. we're going for one very fast drink because all of Tom's trains got cancelled. So that's ruined. Ruined. Looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Instant reaction, the sub-20 man? Oh, still not sure it's happened. I mean, it doesn't say it on my watch, but that's because it took me ages to stop watching <laughs> after it. But I'm very happy. I mean, that's the first race I've done in the Rocket X. I did a half in the Rocket, uh, the Rocket X2, and I wasn't fully fit. And I did enjoy it when I was good. I mean, these felt great. These felt absolutely great. All right, we are in the, we're in the pub afterwards. Oh, man, look at this. <laughs> Daughter loves that. Um, well... I think we've only one place to start here, and that is this man running his first sub twenty. Michael, yeah. I've got a sub twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, we, I was going. Oh, I don't think he's going to do it. The clock was like ticking up ninety fifty, and then out of the gloom emerges this man sprinting at home. First sub twenty, Mike. How does it feel? It feels pretty good. I'm still, still not really sunk in really. I've been close, very close a few times. Yeah, he's uh, messed it up before. I messed done. it up basically, <laughs> but um, that's a that's a. I mean, that course. I've, I've done variations of that course obviously, a little bit part, but it's. Very different, and there's some weird slippy bits. Yeah, that's, that sub twenty. <laughs> that sub twenty is worth a lot more elsewhere because it was <laughs> dangerously slippery in the, in the last like turn. And going just a very in, dark yeah. zone as well, yeah, where yeah, they yeah. could have maybe put some temperature. Oh, you don't like sprinting there. around the dark, <laughs> coward. Uh, but no, it felt good, uh, and yeah, very happy. And right, right we'll come on to your shoes. In yeah. a second. Tom, what did you run? Good day, bad day? Uh, fine day. Fine, yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't. I wasn't going all out. Uh, I I think I did about eighteen forty or something, which is a long way off my PB. But also, I wasn't I wasn't racing it really. So no, you know. once you once you get around the course, you kind of probably weren't going to push. That's well, there was a, there was a, when we got into that slippy bit, I was actually doing pretty well, and I had a bit of a slip, and I thought, nah, nah not worth <laughs> it, not worth it. Relax. I was pretty soon. I had a pretty <laughs> fine day as well. Not the best day out. I ran a sixteen twenty five odds where. First 2k were right, and then I just held like 3.20. I, like, I haven't got enough speed in the legs at the moment, so I felt like I could do the 10k, even at the end of the five, pushing, but I didn't really feel quick, and yeah, slippy a bit, so I was second in the end. And some lad ran a sub-16 on that, which is pretty great, because it was <laughs> it was a bit tricky tonight. Shoes then, Mike, Rocket X2. Rocket X2, first time Blinder. I've done a 5k kind of quicker. I've done some like speed Three. sessions in it, track sessions, and I really enjoyed running it in, in, in it in general, to most, and I've done the Hackney Half Marathon, and it was pretty good. I've the only thing is I think maybe there's it's maybe missing that little bit of pop that I wanted but it ultimately I love how light this shoe is it's a great you know in terms of what Hawk has done with the shoe it feels a, a much better accommodating ratio than the Rocket X and every time I put it on I've had a good run in it so yeah, well, very good. Oh, you've had but the, the outsole I would say though yeah I mean I'm obviously I think everyone kind of was slipping around but the outsole for me was you know yeah, yeah. I was a little bit kind of holding back on those bits where it was a little bit I will say though Rocket X2 is my like go to slick fast yeah. running outsole so I think, it's, I think if that outsole was struggling no super shoe would have done well yeah, today. so yeah, yeah. I do think it's really good Tom Elite, Northern Elite, used it a few times. Today, you have churned up the outsole even more. <laughs> have you got any outsole left on it? It wasn't too bad, actually, on, on this course, because it's mainly ice. Yeah. So really ripping it up. Um, oh, thanks, Mike. My yeah, hands are going. Uh, Northern Elite, I, I said this in my top five shoes of the year video, I have a love-hate relationship with this shoe. Yeah. It's not comfortable. It's really, really fast. It's a great 5K, 10K shoe. You wouldn't go over it. It's quite slippy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Fine, fine.
Uh, anything else for testing? Watch his device, great, no problems at all. Um, yeah, yeah distance wise was fine. Mike can't talk about his headphones. Can't talk about next week. Uh, my shoes, my Shiu socks <laughs> did a good job. Did they? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was wearing my Grinch socks, which also did a fantastic job, even though they're not running socks. So Definitely that's not the problem. Um, we, uh, I think I'm probably wrapping up there. I can't think of any yeah. other thoughts there. It was basically we've only got about 10 minutes or time to catch a train, and we've got to finish a <laughs> pint and a half. So <laughs> see you soon. See you. Bye. 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 So you probably noticed that there wasn't any talk of how the AlphaFly 3 performed uh, just in that video just then. I did talk about it there, but the sound and video quality and everything just got a bit too bad. So I thought I'd quickly do it here and now and catch up with how the AlphaFly 3 performed last night, which was really good. Like, it's obviously an excellent carbon plate running shoe. It felt very fast and impressive. And it's the lightness you have with this shoe did mean it feels a little bit more capable of there was one ramp on the course and you could turn your feet over and nip up it a bit better in this compared to the AlphaFly 2, which is that little bit heavier still got all that booming bounce and I think that is still the key feature of it like early on in the race when I was running well really thought I could get put a lot into the shoe load the plate really get a lot of explosive bounce back from it and then later on when I was tiring I was kind of you know turning my feet over still very quickly but maybe not running with such purpose and drive and I feel like in those situations you don't get necessarily quite as much out of it I think you get more from this version of the shoe because it is so light and has more of a tippy forward feeling than past versions but I think in that kind of situation in a 5k for a runner like myself as a high cadence runner not a very big bounding runner I might get a little bit more of an edge from the Vaporfly just being a lighter shoe or some other lighter carbon plate shoes and then when you're running well bounding or a bit more controlled like in a marathon for example I think the Athletic really comes into its own with that bounce you feel so yeah certainly still very enamored of it um i think probably runners with a different style to myself might get a bit more out of it on those shorter distances who are slightly more boundy uh, i'll put a bit more force into it in general throughout the race whereas i tailed off a bit towards the end as i ran out of steam but obviously it was still great to run in last night i'm looking forward to doing a 10k in it in a couple of weeks as well finally i'll say thanks to run through who sorted mike and tom's places for the race uh, the olympic park route is a new one for me that one last year i tried it had a dead turn knit and they've got rid of those now so it's kind of you're running two loops there are some small uphill sections but yeah nothing too bad so worth checking out on probably a slightly less icy night than we ran on it massive well done oh, he's done it got he's done it place. he's got something he's got something ready we have right. second place for the females we love